Welcome to my channel. We do what we do, we say what we say. Come on, boy. Now, today I saw something interesting on the internet, and we're gonna check it out. This video is about history, you know, of the war. And this guy, this this time it's a young boy, you know. One this was the youngest boy in the army at the time. And you know, the, this boy lost his parents and a whole lot of things, but I'm not gonna say it all. Let's check the video. What is this boy doing? He's delivering bullets to other soldiers. His name is Sergei. In Russia, he was the youngest service boy in the military. Oh, so he was the youngest service boy in the military in Russia. Okay. This year, he just turned six years old, but he had to go to the front line. Time went back a few days earlier. Sergei was standing, crying in a forest. He kept calling for his mother. The boy had just lost his family. The German army burned down the village where he lived. The pain of losing someone was sometimes difficult for adults, not to mention he was a child. Sergei with an empty stomach. Oh, this is bad. Germans. I think the Germans have caused a whole lot of damage in the world, to be honest. Like, especially in Europe here, specifically Poland. Poland. These German people. Oh my god. I reached go. the stream, just taking a few sips of water. Suddenly there was a sound. Sergei hid in a tree stump, so as not to be discovered by the German. But when he raised his head, he saw a snake at the top of his head. Sergei. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should level up, but oh my god. Imagine if you waiting like for enemies to go because you'll be killed and then you see a snake also. At this point, just uh oh, just 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 pass out. You know, it's crazy. Hey They quickly gagged. The boy did not dare to breathe. You. After the German army left, he ran out to find some leftover food. He continued walking towards the jungle. This oh journey alone god. taught Sergei. What resilience was. He wasn't a baby that would call for mom when in danger, but he had learned to deal with it because of fatigue. Mm -hmm. Sergei lay on the ground and fell asleep. Not long after, several Russian spy soldiers spotted him. The soldier named Andre brought the boy back to the army. When he woke up, Sergei was very scared. Commander Kuznetsov repeatedly tried to comfort him. When asked about his parents, tears began falling from the. Oh man, that is so oh my god. I don't know how to take this, bro. Like, yo, this young boy. On an army field in a war. Boys' eyes again. Army troops would be attacked by German at any time. For safety's sake, they took Sergei to a rescue station not far away. The nurse Katya took care of him carefully. His adorable innocence brought laughter to everyone. The commander also regularly visited him. While talking, Sergei was very interested in the commander's gun. The boy said, Well, with such weapons, no enemy is afraid of us. Soon, we will defeat the enemy. After that, okay. Katya looked for the commander. Very brave boy, to be nice. Very brave boy. Commander and said, It's a good boy. Can we keep him? The commander immediately said, The child does not belong here. What? Nobody has a place here. Andre and several soldiers also regularly visited Sergei. The boy always brought joy to them. No one expected that. The kid they picked up now became a favorite person in the troop. The soldiers even arose feelings for him because they all had children. When they saw the boy, they felt warm. Everyone was fighting for people like him. Someone began to convince the commander to let the boy stay. We will all take care of him. That day, Sergei's wound was completely healed. He had to go. The commander gave Sergei the gun he made by his own hands. Named. The two people looked at each other. I was waiting for you so much. Yeah. So afraid they'll kill you. This statement is stuck in the commander's heart. He was touched. He asked Sergei if the boy wanted to be his son. Is it possible? Let's try it. Finally, Sergei had a father. The tailor in the camp rushed to make the boy a military uniform. The next day when he woke up, Sergei picked up the uniform on the table. He was extremely happy. The moment he put on the suit, he had become a soldier. But all of a sudden, oh German my God. planes flew over to bomb all over the barracks. The boy hid in a hole, fortunately, kept his life. But many soldiers were injured. He wanted to find his father. He asked everywhere how to shoot. Oh my God. Will the battle be over soon? They won't kill the commander. A military doctor hold him back, told him not to mess around. At the same time, he let the boy help. The boy finally understood the devastation of war. Only when they all worked together, could they win. 
he began to give water to the wounded soldiers. Okay. An old man with eyes injury took out the letters sent by relatives and let Sergei read them for him. He looked left and right but didn't understand. In order not to hurt the old man, he had to say something himself to comfort him. In Aww. order not to let other soldiers get sad, he began singing for them. That's a later. Experienced many things, Sergei gradually matured. Maybe the only thing he could do was to make everyone happy. Yeah. He learned to act like an adult. And it's too early for you to shave. I'm a soldier. Next, he went to the barracks <laughs> to ask his father to become a janitor. This way he could help people more. The commander gave him a mission. It was to deliver new emails. Sergei quickly ran back to the car to receive the mails. Then he delivered them to the other soldiers. The soldiers even danced with the boy. Sergei continued to deliver letters. He kept calling a soldier, but still couldn't find him. The old soldier held him in his arms and said, That soldier is dead. Yeah. The colors on their faces turned pale in an instant. Sergei took off his, That's respect. his hat and left sadly. On the way back, he once again tried to imitate the spy and looked around. Unexpectedly, he saw a pair of shoes hidden in the grass through binoculars. Those shoes were still moving. The boy Yo. felt strange, immediately ran back to report to Uncle Andre. After listening to him, the soldiers were skeptical. I need to check. They went to the grass as directed by Sergei. Indeed there were two German scouts in there. After a while, they tamed the scouts. This time Sergei had achieved a feat, but he was extremely humble. He never mentioned this to his father. To him, Whoa. this was the duty of a soldier. Not long after, the German army launched an attack. They launched an attack on the barracks. The situation was extremely fierce. But Sergei was not afraid. He kept providing bullets for soldiers. The old soldier scolded. This is not a place for children. Sergei left the battlefield. At the same time, the telephone lines on the battlefield were blown off. Sergei heard the conversation, then ran outside alone. Oh my goodness. Yo. He followed the phone line. Seeing the soldier injured by the bomb, he ran out of the ditch, crawling forward him. He reached to the side of the soldier and asked how to connect the phone. After that, he held the wire in the soldier's hand, quickly hid in a pit, and found the remaining wire. He tried to join them together. Yo. And the signal recovered. The situation on the battlefield quickly turned around. Sergei once again achieved a feat. After the war ended, the troop moved to the barracks at the rear. The commander mentioned Sergei in front of the army about his outstanding performance. The commander was extremely proud. Yes, sir. After that, he arranged for Sergei to check the equipment and supplies. Follow. Sergei went to the military zone and received a warm welcome. The soldiers played with him. Someone even gave him chocolate. But Sergei didn't consider himself a child. He showed a serious face and followed the orders. Soldier. <laughs> Young soldier, bro. Get up. Stand up. The soldiers stood up. them one by one. He asked a soldier for help to make a list to give to the general. The commander silently rejoiced, this kid, such many materials like that, even I couldn't Yo, this is, this is mind-blowing, to be honest. This kid is mind-blowing, I swear. Like, so far, I'm just, oh my god, how? How do I even process this? This kid is amazing, to be honest. Open my mouth to ask, at night, the enemy suddenly attacked. The commander was crushed by the log. Oh my god. Sergei used all his strength, but couldn't move it. He rushed to call for help. Then he could save his father. Seeing his father lying on the hospital bed, in his eye cavity, tears were welling up. The commander told him, men do not cry. Yeah. After that, Sergei received the medal. Finally, he became a real soldier. Promised to serve the people. Oh yeah, that's how Russian soldiers march. At the end of the movie, Sergei followed the army, marching to a distant place. This is a movie, adapted from a real character. It's original is Russia's youngest hero, Sergei Oleshkov. Oh, Sergei Oleshkov. What Sergei, experienced on the battlefield, were considered lucky. He brought warmth to the soldiers, who had to place themselves on the cold battlefield. There were also spiritual cheers. War can be seen as devastating. A lot of people commented that such a lovely boy really shouldn't appear on the battlefield. And the scene that impressed me the most in the movie was what Katya said to the commander. Nobody has a place here. That's right, who'd belong to this place? In order to protect the country, many orphans lost their parents. They were adopted by the Russian army and become members of them. They had a united name in the military. Okay. The sons of the captain, whoever fought in the Russian war, who didn't start as a child. 
Okay, this is interesting to be honest. This is quite interesting. Guys, the video ended that way. But yeah, I know many Russian people are going to comment, finish the video, finish the video. I understand you guys. The video ended that way. It's not my fault this time. Anyways, so, uh, you know, much respect to the kid, you know, Sergei Aleshkov, I think. Much respect to him and may his soul rest in peace. I believe he's, you know, honored in Russia now. I believe many people know him. He's one of the youngest kids who served in the war. Man, this kid is amazing, to be honest. It's really amazing. It blowed me off. Anyways, guys, you know, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. That's something you should know. You know, you guys should know about, you know, the war, basically. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. We do what we do. See what we see. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Baby, I never see your type. My girl, I like your vibe. For your love in a good time.